Hi, my name is Tamara and I'm an abstract artist. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome! The next step for this piece is going to be the resin glaze. So what I'm going to do is measure out equal parts of resin and hardener so that I can create my epoxy glaze finish. I use this small scale so that I can tear the cups and have a really accurate reading on my measurements. I find that the closer I get to having equal parts, the better the outcome. So I stir this for about five minutes and then I get pouring. The last thing I'm gonna do is add a slightly blue pigment to this resin. It is going to give this kind of really glassy water ocean-like effect that I'm going for for this Majestic Tide series. So I am just gonna mix that together the last thing I do is make sure that my painting is level. This way when the resin settles, it's going to level itself out evenly and not drip off of the side of the canvas. There are a few different methods that I do use when I am spreading resin. Depends on how I'm feeling that day, the size of the canvas, and the kind of look that I'm going for. But for this piece, I am using my hands. This way I can really control the resin and use a doming effect on the edges. So this process is actually quite time consuming, but it is one of my most favorite parts. I get to play with warm gooey resin and really just watch the pigments come to life on the canvas. There is something quite beautiful about the effects of epoxy resin on any piece actually, not just acrylics, but it really adds an extra dimension to the piece. Once I've leveled out all the resin and every piece of the canvas is covered, I grab my blowtorch to pop any of the air bubbles that are inside the resin. This is a quite important step because I do not want any air bubbles stuck in between the resin. I need them all to pop to the surface so that I get an even look. After that, I just make sure that there aren't any loose hairs or fibers that are stuck in the resin before I let it sit and cure. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.